Hi, this is PR Sundar. Welcome to this special series of mission options. And we have already seen the basics of options. We have already seen the uh, option Greeks. But now the question is how to know the trend of the market. Whether the trend is up or whether the trend is down, what stocks to trade, what stocks not to trade and etc. So today we are going to discuss about volume and open interest. First let us look at the definition from Investopedia. Open interest and volume, understanding the difference. Volume and open interest are two key technical matrices that describes the liquidity and activity of options and futures contracts. Volume refers to the number of contracts traded in a given period and open interest denotes the number of contracts that are active and are not settled. So this looks slightly complicated. So I can tell you every day contracts, either it is of futures contracts or it is of options contracts. So the contracts are being traded and people buy and people sell. How many contracts are traded in a day? That is called the volume. The volume is more important. That's because the more the volume, the more the interest. So something must be happening. So the markets will be dynamic. That's number one. So we have to trade in stocks or options which are dynamic, which are active. Number two, the liquidity. If more contracts are being traded, then it's a very highly liquid. So especially HNI people, they buy lot of shares or they sell lot in huge quantities. So if there is no liquidity, they will be getting trapped. So they will always be looking for liquidity. Say for example, you go to vegetable market, tomato, potato, they are being sold in huge quantities. That's why the price, you know, a selling price may be 50 rupees, Asking price may be 49 rupees. They may negotiate 1 rupee, 2 rupee. But you come to the real estate market, the apartments are not being sold heavily. There are few compared to tomato and potato. That's why the asking price, you know, it's very much difference. Buyer may ask for 50 lakhs, seller may ask for 60 lakhs. There may be a 20% difference. So higher the volume, the liquidity will be more. So it is always good to trade in stocks or futures or options which have high liquidity. So that is determined by the volume. What is open interest? Open interest is the number of contracts which are not settled, which are open. I give you one example. Let us say today I am selling 100 contracts. I am just one guy selling 100 contracts. Maybe let us say there are 10 people, each one buy 10, 10 contracts. So 100 contracts sold, 100 contracts bought. So the volume is 100. Maybe by the end of the day, I don't want to carry the position home. I just want to square off 50 contracts. So at the end of the day, I'm selling 50 contracts and all those people, 10 people who bought from me earlier, let us say half of them are squaring up their position. So now at the end of the day, I bought 50 contracts and the people who bought from me in the morning, they sold 50 contracts. So the volume is again 50. So in the morning, volume 100. In the afternoon, volume is 50. So at the end of the day, the total volume will be 150. So today the total traded volume is 150. But at the end of the day, how many contracts are settled? In the morning I sold 100 contracts. At the afternoon I squared off half of the quantity. So that means only 50 contracts are open. So the open interest is 50. So volume is 150, open interest is only 50. So the open interest at the end of the day will tell you how many contracts is a new contracts or how many contracts squared of earlier one contract. So the volume may be more even when the people are squaring up their contract. So let me give you another example. Let us say I sold 100 contracts in the morning, 10 people bought 100 contract. Okay, so let us say I did not square up anything. Another guy coming and selling 50 contracts. Another five people coming and buying 10, 10 contracts from him. So in this case, the volume is 150 because morning 100, afternoon 50. Volume is 150. 
but open interest will also be 150. So in the first case, morning volume 100, afternoon volume 50, 150 is the total volume, but in the afternoon it was a squaring up of a trade. So because of that, the open interest goes down to 50. In the second case, morning volume 100, afternoon volume 50, but it was not a square of trade, so everything is a fresh trade, so therefore the open interest becomes 150. So volume tells you the liquidity, the open interest tells you the interest in the contract for a longer period of time, means overnight risk. So I am just going to show you the option chain here. So if you look at the 16,000 call option yesterday, you can look at the volume. Volume is 3,68,960, almost 3,69,000. But what happened to the open interest at the end of the day? Only 40,000. But what about the change in the open interest? It was only about 17,000. So that means all the remaining, they were all intraday plays. They are creating the position in the morning, squaring it off in the afternoon. At the end of the day, they are squaring it off. So the open interest is only this one. So this one tells you, was there any change in the open interest? So that means the previous day, open interest was only about 20,000. Yesterday, though 3,70,000 contract traded, but at the end of the day, everything was squared up except 17,000 new contract. So the previous day plus this 17,000 put together, now it is about 39,000 contract. So this is how the open interest is calculated. Now, as I told you, the volume tells you the liquidity, but we have to focus more on open interest and change in the open interest and the price. What does this signify? The more open interest is added, so that means there is a more interest in the stock. So is there a way we can guess whether the market is bullish or bearish? Yes, I can show you one example of Bajaj Finance. Look at this Bajaj Finance. So on 4th of June, this one was trading around 6,000 rupees. The next day what happened, it fell. It fell nearly 5% from 6,000 and you look at the low, it went up to 5,700. 6,000 to 5,700 is almost 5 percent. The market fell. While the market fell, what happened to the open interest? Open interest actually decreased. So, when the price comes down, if the open interest is coming down, what does it mean? It means that people who are holding the long position, they are squaring off their positions. So, probably, the market may not continue to fall. So this is because of long unwinding. Price comes down, open interest comes down. That means it's long unwinding. People are holding the long position, they are squaring up their positions, right? So in that case, the price from there may not fall much, may stabilize or may even recover. And that is what we have seen exactly. So look at this was on 4th of June, 6,000, and 7th of June, it came down. Look at the 8th of June, after that the price started recovering and started moving higher. But when the price comes down, if the open interest increases, that means people are shorting the stock more. So the direction may continue. So the stock may become bearish, may continue to fall. So if price comes down, open interest also comes down, it is long unwinding. And if price comes down, open interest is increasing, that means it is a short build up. When the short build up, the probably market may continue to fall. The same way, now on the higher side, look here. On 9th of June, it was 5,700. On 10th of June, it shot up to 6,100. It was almost 7-8% higher. What happened that day? Open interest increase. Change in the open interest. Open interest increase from 37 lakh to 40 lakh. So when the price goes up, open interest also goes up. That means it's a long build up. The price is likely to go up and that's what you have seen on the next day. From 6114, it went up to 6128. Intraday, it went up to 6249. But when the price goes up, if the open interest comes down, so that means it's a short unwinding, right? So the probably the prices may not go significantly higher from there. That is what exactly happened now, the last trading day. From 6114, it went up to 6128. It actually gone up slightly, but look at the change in the open interest. So the change in the open interest has come down. Open interest has come down. So 
now the market may not move significantly higher so let me tell you what is long built up long built up means people are buying more and more shares or more and more contracts expecting that prices will go higher then what is a short built up short built up means people are selling the contract expecting that the prices will come down and what is short covering short covering means people who have already sold it expecting that market will come down but contrary to their expectation if the price is going higher the people who have shorted they will be losing lot of money so they will start squaring up their position so that is called short covering and what is long unwinding people go long by expecting that prices will go higher but if the market reverses market comes down so these people who have taken a long position they will be in loss and so they may square up their position so that is called long unwinding so taking a long position is called long built up taking a short position is called short built up and people who are squaring up their uh, shorts when the market goes higher it's called short covering when the people who are squaring up their positions long position when the market comes down that's called long unwinding basically there are four things if price goes up open interest also goes up so that means it's a long built up price goes up open interest comes down so that means it's a short covering if price comes down but open interest goes up it is short built up if price comes down open interest also comes down it is long unwinding so there are basically four things long long unwinding short and short covering so therefore we don't look only at the prices we have to look at the price and we have to look at the open interest then we can come to a conclusion but again let me tell you this is just only a general guideline this is not the golden rule so i have shown you with the example of bajaj finance because the recently bajaj finance came down also went up also so hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching